early computer hacking often targeted telephony. Long-distance calls were pricey, and freakers learned to exploit in-band signaling. Phone networks interpreted specific audio frequencies, regardless of source. People could record tones on tape, or play them with instruments, to route calls for free. Former Air Force tech John Draper noticed a toy whistle packed in Cap'n Crunch cereal produced a 2,600 Hz tone that could seize a trunk line on AT&T paired with the proper control tones. It enabled illicit long-distance calls. The whistle became a freaking icon, but manual whistling soon gave way to blue boxes, electronics that generated the precise tone sets automatically. College students Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak built and sold sophisticated digital blue boxes around UC Berkeley. Jobs later said their success with them directly inspired Apple's creation. Social engineering and system quirks often powered real-world hacks back then, 